Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. Hopefully everybody's having a great week this far. So check it out. So today is a what sold video. And if you guys do not know what I do, I pretty much go to thrift stores, abandoned storage units, I do estate sales, garage sales, bin stores, you guys name it. And we find items to flip online for a profit. And I've been doing this for close to two years now. So uh, yeah, so this What's Old video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna change the style up just a little bit because I noticed the What's Old videos have been getting up there to you know, 35, 45 minutes. And I noticed that I ramble a lot. So in this video, I'm not gonna ramble at all. This way, the video is gonna be just a little bit shorter, or a lot shorter, should be. And we are going to showcase exactly what we sold. And I'm not gonna go into like a full story of what sold. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we have three Pokemon cards going out to three different buyers. It is Bulbasaur, the original Pokemon cards. Each one of these sold for $2.99. All right, went ahead and pulled this. This is a Danbury Mint Garfield throw blanket. Got it from the Garfield deal the second time around. And this throw blanket is brand new sealed, and it sold for $125 plus shipping. All right, guys, starting off here with a banger. This is from the Garfield... Uh, find that we found at the garage sale my first time around this bad boy just sold for 150 dollars plus shipping and his danbury mint uh statue so 150 dollars plus shipping all right guys we just filled this bin up this is a sony camera that we just picked up this past weekend and uh this sony cyber shot uh camera sold for 24.99 free shipping all right, guys, wrapping around here to R7. If you guys remember that Deals and Steals, a uh, huge toner haul that we found, the Xerox, all this type of stuff. Uh, this right here is what sold the Set of Four cartridge, 116 Set of Four, sold for $180 free ship. All right, guys, here in N3, we sold this uh, Garfield collector's pin with pouch. Got this from the second uh, Garfield buy, and this right here sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, wrapping around here to D4. This is actually from the Diecast Car Storage Unit. And it's going to be this uh, Monkey's Book. If you guys remember the DVDs that we sold for $175, this is part of that uh, part of that abandoned storage unit. So the Monkey's Book sold for $59.99. Free shipping. All right, guys, right above V4, we have a charger going out. And that is going to be it right here. So this charger right here actually sold for $14.99 plus shipping all right so i went ahead and pulled this one this one is also from the bin d3 this one right here actually sold for 39.99 free shipping all right wrapping over here to r7 where the model kits are we actually sold this yellow one the 68 corvette roadster that's what it looks like and this right here actually sold for 14.95 plus shipping all right so this next item we got this from the goodwill for a dollar 99 and it would have sold for a little bit more but the cord is fraying but that is it is what it is we're still gonna make a little bit of money this right here sold for 9.99 plus shipping all right so we actually just uh, picked this up from over the weekend and it's gonna be this chi ceramic uh blow dryer got it for six dollars at six dollar day at the friendly marketplace and this right here sold for 49.99 free ship all right guys we actually got a video game going out we got smackdown versus raw 2010 for the xbox 360 it does have a little bit of wear this right here sold for 19.99 free shipping all right so we got something that we did some retail arbitrage on uh we actually did this in walmart and it should be this one right here we got jason Voorhees. yes if you guys do not know who jason is you guys do not have a life <laughs> so uh we got these for 9.97 at uh walmart and this one right here sold for 19.99 Plus shipping over here on r1 we actually have a cd going out got this from an abandoned storage unit so it's pure profit took a little bit to sell but this mambo santa mambo christmas from the latin lounge sold for 9.99 plus shipping all right guys so this next item is from n6 this is the yeah link uh phone and i'm pretty sure we got this for five dollars i think maybe eight bucks i'm not too sure uh but this item right here sold for sixty dollars free ship all right so we got another one of those toner cartridges uh, TN460 right here. This is the one. And like I said, we got these for like five bucks or eight bucks, something like that. Uh, TN460. This one right here sold for $50. Free shipping. All right, guys, we have a DVD set going out. It's going to be Criminal Minds 14 in the final season. This set uh, we actually got at, I want to say the Friendly Marketplace or uh, the 10 spot for five bucks. This right here sold for $19.95. Free shipping. Like I said, you guys, we're going to try to keep it quick and simple. Um, and I, I just realized that I did not tell you guys how much we brought in and then, of course, how many items it was. So it was only 20 items, but we brought in $1,025.72 over here uh, on 
eBay. So uh, nothing sold over on Facebook, nothing sold over on Amazon, and that's perfectly fine. We still did really well over here on eBay. Q4 is here, and it's going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the past what sold videos, we've been doing extremely well uh, over the ca uh, past few weeks. So uh, yeah, we will see you guys Thursday with what sold. So see you guys in a sec. Yo yo, well, check it out, you guys. It is Thursday night. It is 8:30, and we have 25 packages going out for one thousand dollars in or one thousand ninety-one dollars and seventy-two cents. Uh, one thousand seventy-one dollars and seventy-two cents of that is over here on eBay, and my wife sold one item over on Poshmark for twenty dollars. So you guys know how the new what sold are gonna go. We're gonna do this as quick and as efficient and as educational as possible so let's go and get into it all right guys so we're gonna start off here with the pokemon cards first we have colossal is a v max pokemon card and that one right there sold for one dollar and 99 cents this pikachu right here is also known as a shiny pikachu it is a hollow rare and it sold for four dollars and 99 cents the next one is this como dash o I'm not really sure, but it's a hollow rare and it sold for $1.99. And last but not least, we have this Bulbasaur and he is just an uncommon regular vintage Pokemon card and he sold for $2.99 uh, free ship. All right, this tech deck uh, staircase is uh, from Tony Hawk Foundation Skate Park. It's just a little tech deck little thing. Uh, this is from the Diecast Car Storage Unit and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, so this huge Bethlehem Village, we actually got this at a yard sale for very cheap, maybe maybe five, 10 bucks into it, and it sold for $150 plus shipping. All right, guys, so this is also from the Diecast Car Storage Unit. This is a vintage 1998 Hanes string bikinis. Yes, I lowered my standards of what I sell. You guys, I'm kidding. If you guys ever see vintage Hanes stuff like bikinis, underwear, that type of stuff, it goes for great money. And uh, this pair right here, or the set of three, actually sold for $75 plus shipping. All right, this Xbox One controller. Um, this is part of my old Xbox collection. I already got plenty of these, so I decided to sell one, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, so this PGY Tech Osmo Pocket Travel Set. We actually got this from the bin store at Friendly Marketplace for $6, and it sold for $65 free shipping. All right, pair of Columbia boots. Very cool. This is a 200-gram size 13 uh, hiking boots. Got this from the... Uh, Goodwill for $8.99 and they sold for $45 free ship. All right, guys, so we have this Super Scope receiver. Um, this is actually my death pile. I'm casually going through my death pile now, and we found that and decided to list it like a few hours ago and it actually sold pretty quick. This uh, scope receiver sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, and this pair of pants right here, um, also known as Iron Company, actually very cool pants. We got this from the Diecast Car Storage Unit, and the size is 3630, uh, made in Madagascar. That's kind of weird, but that's also kind of cool at the same time. This sold over on Poshmark for $20 plus shipping. All right, guys, coming over here to the DVDs, we actually sold something, and it's going to be this American Pickers brand new sealed. This is actually from the Diecast Car Storage Unit, and we actually, uh, Sold it pretty quick, probably in about a week. This right here sold for $11.99, free shipping. All right, guys, over here in D4, this thing is absolutely filled. And we actually sold that Frozen uh, Disney watch. We got this for $8 at the Dills and Stills bin store. And this bad boy right here sold for $24.99, plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in L4, we actually got this from a storage unit. I want to say this was actually from the first storage unit I ever bought, I think. But it's going to be this brand new Lufkin tape measure. Um, this right here sold for $20, free shipping. All right, guys, we have a Garfield ornament going out. And I believe it's going to be this one right here, the one where he looks like he's sleeping on a moon. We got this from the very first Garfield buy at the garage sale. This right here sold for $15. Free shipping. All right, guys, down here in C4, we actually have this huge ink uh, package. Uh, it's a tri-pack. And I don't remember where we got this from. Maybe, maybe a garage sale, maybe a Goodwill. I don't remember. Uh, but either way, this right here sold for $24.99. Free shipping. All right, guys, over here on R1, we have this Disney Park Pals uh, Lilo and Stitch. Well, I guess it's just a Stitch little... What is this? I don't even know. It's just a display stand included. So I guess it just displays. I'm not too sure. And I don't even remember really where we got this from. Maybe maybe a storage unit. I think this might be from the Diecast Car Storage Unit. This right here sold for $15 plus 
plus shipping. All right, guys, if you guys ever find this out there in the wild, make sure you guys pick them up. These are called percolators, and these things do extremely well. The brand is called Regal. We got this from a Goodwill for $3.99, and this right here sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in N3, we actually packed this up and look at what sold this uh, Garmin. We got this for 50 bucks on a 50% off day at the Axe 3 thrift store. And this right here sold extremely quick for $125 free shipping. All right, guys, over here in D3, we got this set of Micro Machines diecast cards. Obviously, you guys see there's no packaging really it's just the bottom part of it i disclosed all that this from the diecast car storage unit and it sold for six dollars plus shipping all right guys we actually just listed this uh last night but it's going to be an original xbox with two controllers all the hookups uh no games oh there we go we caught it <laughs> this right here actually sold for 115 dollars uh free shipping and we got this for about 20 bucks all right guys over here in c1 we are looking for uh doctor's uh, call or house call and it looks like that's gonna be it right here. Some of these miniatures can be quite expensive This is from the department 56 uh, deal that we did at the estate sale for 1500 and we're slowly but surely selling them all This right here sold for $25 plus shipping. All right guys wrapping back over here to the DVDs this set of the last kingdom season 2 in England is born. I'm pretty sure that's season 1 maybe I uh, got this for five dollars at the 10 spot bin store and this right here sold for $19.99, free shipping. All right, guys, it's probably my favorite sale of the past couple of days. This is a Disney monorail ornament with lights and voice um, Christmas ornament. We got this from the estate sale for $8, uh, where we got the Department 56 stuff. And this right here just sold for $99 plus shipping all right guys and that is everything that is going out hopefully that was short sweet and to the point and uh yeah we got 25 packages to pack up and i still gotta do a bunch of listings tonight and we're going to be going to the bin store first thing in the morning so got a lot of work to do so uh yeah we will see you guys sunday with what sold so see you guys in a sec yo check it out you guys it is sunday night and we're actually packing up packages a little early tonight because wow what a weekend it is currently eight o'clock at night and uh what you guys hear about these sales they're kind of they're kind of crazy um so for the past three days so friday through sunday is what i consider the weekend uh we have sold 38 packages going out for 1475 dollars and 11 cents absolutely crazy couple of really cool sales in here and you guys will see that in just a few um like i said i'm keeping these uh what sold videos a little bit more a little bit shorter that way you guys can fully enjoy and kind of get a grasp of everything because at the end of the day i want to make this more enjoyable instead of me ranting all the time so like i'm doing now so i'm gonna stop that i already got a handful of orders pulled because they're like in my closet my room garage etc that way we're not constantly going around the house to to find stuff so 38 package going out for almost $1,500. So let's go ahead and get to work. All right, guys. So first off, we have a whole bunch of Pokemon cards going out. Um, we have two Charmillions going out to two separate buyers, and they sold for $1.99. The next one is this Machop Reverse Hollow. This one sold for $1.51. The next one is this Dura... Laden, Duraludin, I don't really know how to say that name, uh, but this one is a VMAX card and it sold for $1.99. The next one is going to be this Bulbasaur original vintage Pokemon card and this one right here sold for $2.99. And the next buyer bought both of these Butterfreeze going out to the same buyer and these sold together for a total of $4.28. All right, guys, so we got a handful of orders pulled. Before we do that, we're going to say hi to Max. He's being a good boy today. And we're gonna cover him up a little bit. There we go. Make sure he's not being cold. Anyways, we got a handful of stuff that we've already pulled. Um, this one actually sold earlier in the week, but the guy said they couldn't buy it until uh, Friday, and it was already after the time frame of me actually shipping out the packages. Uh, but this New York Yankees hat, we have two dollars and fifty cents into this, and it sold for twenty-two dollars plus shipping. All right, we got another baseball net. We still have a ton of these, and they're selling pretty decent. And springtime is coming up next year, so this right here sold for fifty dollars. All right, now we got some records. Very weird that three records literally sold simultaneously within about four hours of each other. Uh, these two actually sold to the same buyer, and then this one sold to a different buyer. So this Alice in Wonderland, we got a whole bunch of records for twenty dollars. This one right here alone sold for twenty dollars plus shipping. And these two records sold 
to the same buyer for a total of $40 plus shipping. All right, so this right here, I was going through my death pile. We found a whole bunch of vintage video game type stuff. Got some of it listed, some of it sold. And this right here is a lot of 10 NES original sleeves for your cartridges. And this right here sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, this next item right here, it is a Seagate Iron Wolf 8 terabyte uh, hard drive. We just got this from the uh, 10 spot bin store. I can't remember how much we paid for. I want to say 50. And uh, this right here sold for $180 plus shipping all right guys so that's all the items that is around this area now let's go into the loft all right guys so the next item going out is going to be right here in n9 it's going to be this beyblade toy all right so we actually end up getting this for like two dollars at a garage sale this thing's actually kind of rare um but this item right here sold for fifty dollars plus shipping all right guys so over here in n6 should be right here on top this is a refurbished uh ipod nano third generation got this from the friendly marketplace for six dollars is the bin store and this right here sold for forty dollars plus shipping all right guys so the next item over here is gonna be an n4 and it's gonna be this mario paint mouse for the super nintendo uh this right here sold for 21.99 free shipping also in the n4 bin we ended up picking up a uh vintage georgia bulldog jacket and it looks like that's gonna be it right here it's a vintage 58 sports um large jacket you guys will see the sole comp Got this at a Goodwill for like $5.99. This right here sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, coming over here to the Danbury Mint small little figures that we got from our second Garfield buy. This is Danbury Mint little figurine. Um, this one's called uh, Sitting Pretty. Very cool stuff. Very cool. This right here sold for a whopping $9.99 plus shipping. Also here in N4, and we end up getting this from the good, uh, a Goodwill for $14. Comes in a hard pops uh, stacks uh, plastic case. This right here sold for $50 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in N7, we filled this up with all types of neat stuff. But we are looking for a Jericho wrestling action figure. This is actually from the uh, Diecast Car Storage Unit. And this right here sold for $14 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in D3, kind of clearing some stuff out from here. This is actually what sold. We made sure to put in the description that it's loose in here but pretty much what i'm going to do here is bubble wrap this uh mustang up that way it's not shaking in there before we ship it out but this is a red box or motor max collections mustang this right here sold for $19.99 plus shipping and this is from the diecast car storage unit so it's all pure profit all right big sell here it's going to be this chi 2 or chai i don't really know what, how to say it chai or chi um, but it's a touch 2 we opened it up this thing is brand new looks like it's never even been touched got this from the friendly marketplace for six dollars very cool piece to find this right here sold for 120 dollars free shipping all right guys so we just got some cartridges going out and this is one of them that's going to go out so this is going to be uh tn450 and we just got this from where did we get this from wasn't friendly marketplace. I think this is from the 10 uh the 10 spot bin store. This right here sold for $40 free shipping. And then this TN uh 630 toner also from the uh bins uh the 10 spot bin store. This right here sold for $30 free shipping. All right, over here in N7. This one actually sold within a, a few hours overnight. This is going to be that stream light, uh, tactical light that we got off of the 10 spot bin store rack. Got this for $35 and it sold for $110 plus shipping. All right guys, so over here on, on R6, if I can reach, I got some stuff in the way here. Yeah, there you go. It's gonna be this glass Santa Claus I guess tree topper, I think is 24% lead crystal. Uh, got this from a storage unit, not sure which one, but this right here sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in A2, we have four of these, and one of them finally sold. We got these for six dollars a piece at the friendly marketplace bin store, and this right here sold for $37.99 free shipping. All right, guys, over here on R2, we have a brand new puzzle going out and this is lighthouses usa brand new i'm pretty sure we got this for a dollar at a church sale and it sold for 19.99 free shipping all right guys so over here in l1 i already took it down i think it's this one a springy surprise i think yes it is so 
Uh, we probably got this from a storage unit. This right here sold for not a whole lot, but it sold for $5.99 free shipping. All right, guys, you guys are going to love this. So yesterday I actually went into Walmart and they had this table where they put random clearance stuff on. It's not an actual clearance aisle, but it's just a clearance uh, a thing that they do. But they had five of these Dragon Quest uh, 11s for the Nintendo Switch. All five of them are brand new. There's the other three. We just listed these last night. Um, got these for 20 a piece, and they each sell for 50 a piece. So that so what does that mean? We sold both of these for $50 uh, free shipping, and that right there is pretty much all my money back. And we still got three more, and these things have like a 200% sell through rate. So if you guys see these. Make sure you guys pick them up. All right, guys, so this next item, I don't know why I didn't grab it while I was here, but it's going to be this Diablo 3 PC game. We ended up getting this for, I think, a dollar at a yard sale, and it sold for a whopping $9.99 free shipping. All right, guys, so I rarely come down to these bins. This, this stuff right here is old. <laughs> so uh, beginning of the year of uh, 2022, we're going to be doing a huge purge of anything that's been sitting for a while. Just throw everything in a garage so that we can kind of get like a fresh restart at the beginning of the year. Um, so yeah, so that's why we never go in those bins down there. But uh, this right here is a, a, a pair of Southern Living at Home uh, aprons. We did a storage unit that had tons of Southern Living at Home stuff. And two of these sold for a total of $8 a piece, which means $16 plus shipping on a pair of aprons. All right, guys, so we actually have another item <laughs> going out from N4. Keep in mind, me and the wife, we never do clothes. So it's, it's very cool to see us actually selling clothes just from learning or picking up new stuff. But that's the greatest thing about reselling. It's always nice to try new things out, and it ends up paying off a little bit. So... We actually got this from the bin store for $6 at the Friendly Marketplace. This uh, Duck Camp Hunting Speckle Belly shirt sold for $38 plus shipping. All right, guys. So up here in A1, we got this Olympus Super Zoom 115 camera. And I believe this is from the church sale. I think we got a dollar in this. This right here sold for $42. Plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in C3, this is actually from a storage unit. Uh, it took a little while to sell, um, but this is called Leonard. That is the brand name, and it is a set of, I want to say eight. Let's see, yeah, a lot of eight vintage salt and pepper shakers, but they're like really small. And these right here sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, so this next item is actually from a storage unit as well. I believe it's from the Diecast Car Storage Unit. Believe it or not, I never sell VHSs, but I, I hear people talking about them all the time. This one caught my eye, and it actually sold pretty quick, probably within like two weeks. Uh, not for a lot of money, but it is all pure profit. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in N7, we have another article of clothing going out. Look at this, and my wife actually found this, and it's actually going to be this right here, this... Reebok Canadians, uh, Montreal Canadians uh, jersey is a size medium. So I thought it was going to take a little while to sell, but we got this for $5.99 at a Goodwill and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, and that's everything going out for today, and that's everything that's going out for the whole entire week. Crazy sales this week. We have been working extremely hard. We have tons of things that we're going to be doing uh, for the rest of this year as well as uh, more traveling next year, hopefully, and all that good stuff. Hopefully, everything lines up the way we want it to. Uh, beginning of next year, we're going to be doing a huge purge of doing everything in here and really expanding our eBay business. It's crazy. We've been doing this for you know just about two years now, and it's crazy how far we've come. Our knowledge, experience, all that good stuff, uh, and as well as YouTube videos. I feel like the YouTube videos are getting a lot better. So I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to do it, but I just want to let you guys know I love you guys. You guys are by far uh, a part of my family You know, by now. Uh, I love you guys so much, and uh, without you guys, I probably wouldn't have the motivation to record all this. So, big ups to you guys, and uh, as we continue throughout the rest of this year, I'm hoping to see you. Maybe we can hit 2,500 before the end of the year. Not sure, but hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys see the, the passion and drive I have for this, because I love it. I love this so much, and like I said, again, that's mainly because of you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. Great sales overall, and uh, everybody have a great week, and... Uh, Stay blessed. We'll see you guys next video. As always, it's your boy, the Georgia Picker, the Young Jedi. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.